Kuma Fighting Championships with the not retired Carl McNally. How are you doing? I'm 21. I'm not retired. Relax. <laughs> I don't know where this came from. Where did these rumours come from that you were retired? I said it on Twitter as a mess about. It's a bit of a teasing for me and Dylan Chook. Hi Dylan. Love you. <laughs> and he came out. I said he's retired. Just to slag him. Then try to get the fight matched up. And he obviously went up the feather red. Fair enough. So you're definitely not retired. I'm definitely not retired. And you're looking for some pro bantamweight yep. to take on. Some pro bantamweight action we're looking for. So started new strength routine and then two months under construction and we're ready to go. Get my top off again for you. So Good stuff. And we're here obviously at Akuma Fighting Championships. Mm -hmm. um, so you're here with a teammate? Yeah, Johnny Martin. Just fought there. Unlucky. Johnny Martin. I swear to God, people need to realise this guy. He travels about... 30 miles for a train session, two hours. Lives at the other end, gets trains. 10 o'clock at night, getting trains back home. Inspirational. He followed me from school one day. No I went to school and he was like, oh, do you fight? And I was like, yeah. And he showed up. I no thought way. he was a bit of a stalker. So were you, like, like, were you like, oh, come with me, like, come to no, training? No, I was now. trying to say I'm like, other clubs. I was like, yeah, there's a club in town, stay away. Why would you do that? He's been nerd, so he was. He, was, he wasn't, wasn't my lunch buddy, so he was. So <laughs> tried to scat him away and then he... So did Stuck. you end up, well what a good story, you were trying to scatter him around, now you're here supporting yeah. him. I know, we're like a love affair now, so we are. <laughs> I mean, were you cornering him tonight? Or I wasn't, I let Danny and Toss do that, they're more into the corner stuff. What uh, fights are you looking forward to tonight? You got me here, I actually couldn't you name a match. Know? I know Kyle that's alright, that's alright. I know Kyle McClurton's fighting, he's a good guy, good to watch him get a title fight. Have you ever fought at Akuma before? I have not, I have only done... Clam Wars over here, and then a few battle zones. What do you think of the crowd? Though we couldn't believe it. It's like see, in here I think doors are just open and it's like yeah, full house. You know, it just floods in. Really intimate setup, so it is just just there to fight. There's no glitzy glamour perfectness. It's made for fighters. Everyone's looked after. Got to give credit to Stephen Moore. He literally does run probably the best show in Ireland run. Yeah, and that's hands down. Definitely, we've only got here and already like we see yeah. how kind of well you everything's see it, run and just seen a person there got doctor's treatment. As soon as Dr. Gratham, straight in the room. Yeah. Sort him out. There's a guy vomiting out there. Sorry if you watch this. <laughs> I nearly stepped on it. So what's, we know that we're looking for another fight for you, but like, what's the plan yeah. for this year? Yeah, so I was planning on be fighting in April here, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. So I'm thinking of a trip to England, fight a bantamweight, come back if anyone wants to tussle. Do you not think we'll you can tussle. get any bantamweights over here? We've been trying. We're going to just trying to get it started going, get the ball rolling, and then once we get the ball rolling, we're going straight for it. I want belts. Good bling. stuff. So maybe the next time you're in Dublin, we'll get you for like a full interview. Yep. Sounds fantastic. Good stuff. Pleasure. Thank you so much, Not Carl. a worry. Carl McNally. Pleasure. So we are here at the end of a very long day. Reese McKee, Balamina's finest. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? You obviously weren't fighting today uh, at an amateur show because you're now pro, but uh, you were uh, judging. Yeah, it was good to get a bit of judging in. I think the, the judge that was doing it had to go somewhere else, so I popped in, so... Yeah, it was good to see the fights, close action, uh, some good fights. Yeah, what, any standouts? Uh, I wouldn't be fair to name one. All right, okay. feeling that good. <laughs> um, so obviously next weekend, uh, we have our second fight at uh, Bama. Yes. Yeah, How's everything going? Perfect, like, uh, that's what I was saying, the guys out the back there, I've, I've knew about this fight since November time, so. A little bit longer than the last time. Yeah, big time. Was so, it like uh, seven days? Less, I think five or six, so. Uh, Reese took uh, his pro debut at Bama um, during the end of the summer, um, Bama 22, on five, six days notice. Five, six days notice. Fighting yeah. uh, Johnny Jitsu, John Redmond, and uh, your first first win at, uh, yeah. at pro. Yeah, it was good. Uh, but like this time, obviously, I've had a lot more uh, notice, and so you'll see the difference when I've had 10, 11, 12 weeks, whatever mm -hmm. it's been, compared to having six days. I can, I'll be there to put a show on. Good stuff. So you're excited. Obviously, you've got... Mark, Mark Andrew, got Alan Philpot, Connor Cook. Yeah. How's the training been? Brilliant. Like the four of us, uh, have just been like a team the whole way through. And then Connor's been away in America, so he's bringing a new game. Philpot was in Liverpool for two or three weeks. Uh, uh, then Mark, Mark just me and him have been smashing it back at home with them. They've been away with uh, we're a bit too busy to go away. So like I'm confident Mark's going to smash his opponent, and we'll all do the same. But yeah. Good stuff. Confident. Well, I know it's been a long day, and we'll hopefully speak to you again at, at Bama next weekend. But uh, thank you very much yeah. uh, for taking the time. No worries, thank you. And I uh, wish you all the best next weekend, and obviously <laughs> for the rest of the year. Yeah.
Thank you. You're welcome. So I'm here with Joe McColgan. Joe, thank you very much for taking the time out of watching these amazing fights yeah. to join me on MMAKNET TV. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. The last time I saw you was uh, your brilliant win at Battlezone. Yeah, that was against Tom Hogan by the end of November, I suppose. It was indeed, yeah, yeah, great fight. Was that the last fight on the card that night? That was the main event, yeah, that yeah. was my first pro fight, I suppose. Yeah, so, brilliant win. Yeah, it was good, it was a good win. Like, Tom, Tom's ranked quite highly uh, in the welterweight amateur scene, so it was good to face him a pro at a, at a new weight division for me, so um, yeah, I was just happy to get the win. And what's nice. the plan for yourself? More, have you got any? Yeah, like I mean, I was, I was, I was had a fight lined up. I'll not say who it was against, but I had a fight lined up there March twentieth, but that uh, fell apart at the, at the contract stage. So did you go run? No, we didn't go run. We just didn't sign a contract. So right. for whatever reason, like uh, it is what it is. Like yeah. uh, you know, these things, these things happen. But uh, I've asked Liam about you know Team McCarr, and he's fighting yes. in Italy. So I've asked him on that show. There's Cage Warriors in April. And again, that show. There's a couple of. Well, throw it's fighting uh, April second in battle zone. Like I, I said, the name I'll step in the fight either one of those two. It's Kieber Cosby and um, Keith Gabe. So like I'll like I'll fight one of those two. Like uh, it's just You're get, not get, get, get any fights. Like I'm not I'm not out to get like to fight anyone. I'm just saying like if there's fights there, I'll take it between light and water with. So uh, I'm I'm game for it. I'm Good training. Stuff. I'm training hard, and then there, then there's Rome as well. So uh, for the Europeans. Well, I was just gonna say I know Car or Carl. Jesus. Uh, I know Joe um, through Jiu Jitsu, that's how we kind of first met. Uh, so, what's the plan with Rome No Gi? Yeah, Rome No Gi, and then there's a couple of competitions at the end of the month. Uh, the local competitions, like Subomi, and mm -hmm. it's a No Gi and Gi competition. I'll do that at the end of the month. And then so there's do the both Gi and No Gi, yeah? Uh, yeah, yeah. Can't be best, can't be best art. Yeah, I won four goals last time, I had, I had to defend that one, so uh, <laughs> I'll do that. And then maybe an MMA fight in April. I don't know if it's going to be in Cage Warriors or Battle Zone or, or whatever it's going to be, but. I just want to get active this year. And, and am I right in saying that you work full time as well? Yeah, I do full time. So How are you balancing, you know, full time athlete you, and full time work? You, you know, know what? I, I see, I see them both as jobs now. Like, I, like so, I, I wake up in the morning, so I'll do my strength and conditioning, or I'll do a bit of mobility stuff with a uh, mobility coach, and then I'll go to work, do nine to five, nine to six, whatever it is, and uh, get home, get food, go to training again, and that's every day. But I wouldn't change it all up like, you know. Yeah. So, so coming to something like this, like a, an event where you've got teammates fighting and stuff, do you get to go out that often with like your... No, like you see me, I had a pint in my hand there. I did! <laughs> I wasn't going to mention anything. No, I, 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 I'm at I, you know? But, but it's like this, like, I, don't, I don't drink that often, but you know what, I've kind of I've kind of matured a bit in my pro time of man. I don't take it, I do take it seriously and I train hard and I train all year round, but I've kind of learned that you need to take a bit of time off, like, you know, what, what's what's four pints? And then yeah. I'll be back to train, I'll train tomorrow, doing exactly. fighter circle with Pat. So, I mean, it, it, it's it, it's not a problem, like, as long as, as, long as everything's in moderation, yeah. I'm not going to get pissed. And, you know. Absolutely, I agree That's with you there. Well, thank you so much for taking time to talk to us, and I look forward to uh, seeing you fight. One of my favourite fighters, so <laughs> I look forward to seeing you fight again thanks, soon. Thanks. Thank you. So, I'm here, we're still here at Akuma, and I'm joined by Liam McCourt and Una Quinn. Girls, thank you so much. For taking the time to <laughs> they're, they're very camera shy so i have to be uh ease them <laughs> into this but uh what are you thinking of the fight so far yeah they're really fun it's great to see some of our teammates fighting and doing well you've got a good few people fighting tonight right yeah and so far so we've had three fights and uh three wins so it's great good stuff and have you been to akuma before yeah i fought on it last year <laughs> this time last year i was fighting who were you fighting last year uh a girl from dublin i can't remember it was a k1 fight and how did you do yeah, I won. Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't expect anything else. In about 15 seconds, oh, I think. Oh, was this yeah. really... Because I actually wasn't here, but I remember seeing it online. It was like, Leah's after win in like 15 seconds or something. Yeah, it was quick. Good stuff! <laughs> 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 um, so, what have you, first of all, before we talk about anything else, congratulations on thank your you, most thanks. recent... Uh, <laughs> European champion, yeah, gold medalist you. here in Jiu Jitsu. We're all super proud of you in blue belts. Thanks. How are you feeling? Yeah, a couple of weeks now. Are you back training, back to normal? Yeah, and um, I have a list of things to work on, or things that I want to improve on, or um, mistakes that I saw. So it's good to um, it's good to have things to challenge myself. Um, so probably looking at Rome maybe in April for the European no, Nogi no and yeah. the Rome Championship. So, uh, but spending time with the family and doing things in between. Of, and your husband is trained just yeah as well? i've got him into it so he's uh, trained about six months so it's fun trying to balance everything and everybody to get training but 
And how does he feel about being obviously tapped out by his wife? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he's, On many occasions, he's a I ninety imagine. kilo beast, so it's pretty. He's he can stand his own ground, but um, he's having fun competing and he's done well so far. So good stuff. And Leah, what about yourself? What are you training for now? What's up um, next? Next will be the World IMMF Amateur Championships in Las Vegas in July. So got a bit of an injury, so I need to get that fixed and recover and just focus towards that. Good stuff and you do a lot of jiu-jitsu competitions as well yeah um i, I had a lot planned this year uh but i'm just gonna have to give sacrifice not doing those to focus on the uh, world mma championships this is my main goal i do the jiu-jitsu co- tournaments because there's not a lot of girls fights mm-hmm. and just to get more experience and i love competing so good stuff well thank you very much thank you both for taking the time uh leah and una thanks Lydia. I'm here at the end of a very long day and night with uh, Stephen Moore, organizer of Akum FC. How are you? I'm good. Thank thank you for taking the time. I know it's been a long day and you're in the middle of tearing down the cage out there, but uh, thoughts on on the event? I thought it was brilliant. Every fighter turned up was brilliant. The amateur level in Ireland is outstanding, as you can see. Yeah. Uh, it was a big card. I didn't have many pullouts before. 19 fights? 19, 19 fights? 19 fights. I had two pullouts in four weeks. So I always aim high and then they end up. But no, 19 fights. So fair play to everybody. They wanted to fight in the show. I'll put them on the show. You know? Absolutely. And the calibre of even the amateur level. you know. And I had two great pro fights as well. So James Magdalena and Al Smith was an outstanding. Yeah. It was fighting night for me. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just had him in here. It yeah, was, yeah. It was great. Like, the two talented guys. Like Niall was four and one before this. Four finishes. And... James was coming off three losses, so it was a it was a good win for James. It was a very very close fight in my eyes, like. But uh, hats off to both of them. The the second half of the amateur card, pff, don't have to say anything. Like yeah. everybody outstanding. And one thing mm. that we've had a lot of the guys in here tonight. One thing that they've all mentioned is how well or how good you put on a show and how well you treat them. How important is that for you know the uh, fighters walking it's really, away? It's really important to me because I'm a fighter myself, mm-hmm. so I know what it's like. I've went to shows and be treated like rubbish. Fighters come to my show, they walk away happy. Mm-hmm. They get good prizes, they get bonuses. They don't get paid. You know, you, yeah. put, you do something special, I'll, I'll give you a wee bonus. You know, it's uh, so the show has got a lot of sponsors. Can I put them in there? That's Vane, Flipmander, Moe's Grill, Island Bond Stores, Three Six Five, and uh, Brand Toast Transport. But everybody, any donations? Uh, sorry, NI supplements as well. Every fighter, well looked after. Free T-shirt, you know, protein drinks, stuff. Just something. Mm-hmm. Something good to put back. Any sponsorship that comes in, I just give it all to the fighters any way I can. T shirt stuff, drinks. You know. Absolutely. Uh, how important are amateur shows? And I know we had a couple of uh, pro, pro fights uh, yeah. on the card, but how important are amateur uh, fights and, and you know putting on amateur events like this? Yeah, yeah, the fighters need them. You know, they can't turn pro if you don't have you know mm-hmm. good good amateur fights like you know. But you know, I, I do agree with everything that's happening at the minute with uh, all these inter club. You know, for people that are, they aren't just coming in shell shocked, and I don't allow that. So mm-hmm. if I hear, I I, I socialize myself down with, with Dino and Ray Butcher and the guys up here. Uh, if they haven't stepped in the cage or on the mat, mm-hmm. they're not. They're not. You know, they're not going to go into that. That was a good, yeah. you know, big close atmosphere. Mm-hmm. You know, I actually had a pull out from a guy, but it was unfortunately it wasn't his fault. It's just doctor's mm-hmm. decision. You know, if if it's not safe, they're not in. If they haven't had any competition, they're not in. You and know? that's definitely one of the main kind of focuses. The on main focus is safety in my yeah. eyes, right? That's you know, two doctors, paramedics, you know, cut man, you know, mm-hmm. everything needs you know, needs to be there. Two brilliant referees, Ian and Declan, uh, two two good jobs done today, mm-hmm. you know. But uh, like I say, the safety is a priority for me. I went to shows, been treated like rubbish. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe get, maybe get hurt and just left and sit there. You know, it doesn't happen here. Absolutely, and, and then st- straight off the bat, one thing that everyone knows is the professionalism of the show from yeah. the runners that are running, bringing the fighters from yeah. the the, the warm area up. You know, a friend of mine's daughter is one of my best runners. Yeah, you yeah. you don't mess with her. Paula. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Every, but it's a really every, good way. Yeah. You know, everybody, everybody listens to Paula. And yeah. she tells them straight. If you want, if you don't want to fight, if you don't want to come up when it's ready, then you don't fight. So. Yeah, exactly. Which is right, you know. But yeah. it's definitely a, a great way for for the the young fighters to see yeah. how a, how a, a show and, yeah. and how it's run. So yeah, like Bama next week, a lot of friends fighting Bama, so I'm looking forward to it. So maybe one day I might get what friends give them give them a give a shout out. Well, I'm going to really support to uh, Mark Andre and Reese McKee. Both held bantamweight titles on my show. I mm-hmm. look at them, both pro- professionals. Reese McKee made a hell of a debut yeah, on absolutely. his last Bama, yeah, surprise yeah. everybody. So they're both fighting. You had Reese uh, judging tonight as yeah, well. Yeah, I had Reese judging, yes. Um, Alan Philpott, yeah, uh, I've known him for a long time as well. Mm-hmm. So he he's fighting, there's actually loads of fighting. Connor Cook's fighting, local guy as yeah. well. But 
I, I'm a big fan of, of you know of them all. Like you know, mm. I don't really pick favorites. I just love watching good fights, and I think tonight there was a lot of good fights yeah. and a lot of close calls, a lot of upset people. Like uh, sometimes judges' decisions, uh, you know, they don't correspond with, with the way the fight went. Absolutely. But they're the three guys that were selected, and you know, mm. I, I can't change that. You know, but videos go up. He's gonna watch the fight back. It's only amateur, you know. If it's, profe- if it's a professional fight, yes, you know. But uh, anybody that steps in there and puts on a performance, like you know, mm-hmm. the, the hats off to them. And the, the do me, the dummy all proud tonight. Like that was a fantastic show, and it went so well. Nineteen fights. Yeah. I thought it'd still be here at twelve o'clock. I know, but it's only I know. 10, 10, so, 10.30, so we're, yeah. we're uh, yeah, it was amazing. Uh, credit to you. Yeah. On that note, we'll let you go. Uh, yeah. Get a drink thank and, and much, clean yes. up the rest of the the okay. cages out there. But thank you so much. Show, yeah. We did, and thank you for having us. So I'm here with a victorious <laughs> Lindsay Doyle. Congratulations. Thank you. That was a tough fight. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was. How are you feeling? Yeah, I knew coming in, like, Megan is tough and she's more MMA experienced than me and it was never going to be easy. Um, it was brilliant. I had time in my life. It was, yeah, uh, you look, it when you, your face when you were walking into that cage, you were just <sighs> like so happy I smiling. know I love it that's what Owen was saying to me when we were waiting to go in he's like you're one of few fighters I have that light up when they get to that stage yeah. I'm just like I fucking love this shit your <laughs> face when you were fighting like I don't ever see that face before you look like oh, well, maybe when you're waiting for me outside <laughs> <laughs> my house and I'm you're late, late. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but um congratulations <laughs> I'm, I'm actually because I'm I, watching you that was my first time seeing you fight yeah because yeah. before I met Lindsay and her kickboxing career like I, I didn't get to see her actually fight and it's only ever been jiu-jitsu competitions yeah, yeah. and it's a whole different ball game I was just like just what, <laughs> like I was so proud of you and, and yeah. also felt sick for like your ma <laughs> and you had Ash Ash and Daly and Owen Roddy yeah. in the corner yeah, yeah. how were they today you know like I know you were oh, up here brilliant. last night with, helping with your weight cut and stuff yeah yeah I know they're both brilliant and they're super experienced but um just when like the likes of with, with Owen and Ash I just feel like I could beat anybody when they're giving me instructions because I'm kind of like I've had so many fights now I'm like it's like they're playing the playstation so they just tell me what to do and I'll do it if it works great if it doesn't I'm going to do something else so uh, felt great had a great warm up had a great wake up had a great refuel just really great to get in and enjoy nine minutes of fighting Loved yeah it. absolutely and you, you obviously won by ref decision um, yeah. and your opponent Megan obviously she's she's upset that obviously didn't yeah. win like anyone would be and yeah. we saw her her coach Dean a bit heated when he was leaving the, yeah. the, the cage area but uh, you know have you anything well like I couldn't have complained either way I definitely thought that I was cleaner in my shots and um, she caught me the very end of the first round with a knee to the body that winded me but luckily for me there was only 10 seconds left in the round and I was able to run a little bit um, but other than that I felt like I was making her miss and she was hitting me we were swapping digs and I wouldn't have complained either way but it was a split decision and um, I think we both put on a great fight and both of us should be proud of ourselves so I don't think there needs to be anybody having any fits about anything Absolutely. to be honest you know and especially women in, in this sport you know few and far between and yeah. we should all be supportive and, and you, you hugged it out at the end you yeah know, yeah and Megan was even saying to me beforehand we'll have a drink later or whatever and like there's a lot of people that I don't know coming up to me outside there now and saying oh my god that has to be fighted and I well done blah 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 so that's a great advertisement for female MMA and then you have people having fits over decisions kind of taken away from it a little bit when Megan done herself proud I done myself proud and they Definitely. just scored what they seen you know so you can't complain either way if I was on the other side of the decision I wouldn't complain yeah but, absolutely yeah so uh, spoken yeah. like a true martial artist <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll let you go enjoy the rest of the night I know all your friends and family are outside so uh, I'm so proud of you well done thank you delighted for you thanks guys I'm here with a victorious Alex Brophy Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. How are you feeling? I did say to you last week in SBG when we were we had a little roll together. Um, I was like, I'll, I'll we'll talk to you after the fight when you're for your six your victorious post fight interview, and here we are. Yeah. How are you feeling? I feel good. I feel really good. Um, I feel I wasn't as nervous for this fight as I normally am. I th- look, I just think my mind's in like a much better place now. You look very confident. You were like dancing and smiling, like as you were kind of walking into the cage and. Yeah, I just really enjoyed it. Like even the warm up, like I used to fucking hate warm ups because of the nerves and stuff. But I just, it's all part of it. Like it's, you just have to enjoy it because if you don't enjoy it, then what's the point? You know what I mean? Absolutely. And what were your kind of uh, reactions coming up? Full house out here, you know, and it was really good. Yeah. Tough opponent as well, you know, and yeah. he had a few supporters in he the was, crowd. He was good. He was, uh, he was very tricky. He's a very lot better jiu jitsu than I thought he was going to have. He, he seemed like. Yeah, he was going for mad shit. Like, yeah, yeah. Um, he, he almost, like, he, I was in a calf slice and it was, it was, it was, it was like, my calf sore now. It was, it was good though, but I got over. He had me in some good spots, but I ended up on top every time, so 
my jiu jitsu was better than his. I, I'm more solid. And you're a blue belt in jiu jitsu under uh, John Cavanagh, who's in your corner here tonight with Paddy Holahan. Yeah. What different, you know, how does that affect you having, you know, obviously two legends uh, in your corner? It's just a, a bit, like I think it's better. Like it would, it wouldn't make me nervous. It's more confident. Like Owen was downstairs as well. I knew Owen was watching an Ash and everybody was here. Like so it's like right. I know they're gonna be watching me. Like so I want to, I want to perform. Like I know I've done a lot of things wrong, but I'm. I, I want to see it, you know what I mean? But I think I, I had a good fight. I enjoyed it. It was good fun. Good stuff. And what's next for you? More fights? More jiu-jitsu competitions? I know you compete jiu-jitsu as well. What's I, the plan for I this wanna, year? I, I just want to compete a lot. I'm not sure exactly when I'm going to be competing next, um, but I want to compete a lot. In the next, in this, this year, I want to compete a lot. Just to get just to gain experience. Like. Good stuff. Well, congratulations again. Cheers. Great to speak to you and I'm delighted you. for you, delighted for what you're win. So well done and continued success. Alex. Nice one. Thank you. <laughs> so I'm here with a victorious Kieran. Yeah. How are you feeling? I feel great, yeah. I was um I was very confident, very calm, mm -hmm. but uh, I wanted to just keep it standing. I knew Jerry was a purple belt, so that was sometimes in my head, you know. But uh, I knew when I got out there like I'd be alright defending stuff. But I was very hesitant there out there throwing the shots. I thought I wanted to Catch my left hook, he normally get caught with that. But then I was just walking in the back with Paddy, that exact position, just yeah. passing, get, using the incept to pull, get the arm trigger, and I couldn't believe on it. The, I was very confident that I knew if I get in there, I took him then, who knows what that could have happened. So I was confident, you know. How does it feel? Obviously, you know, like everyone has their, their favorite way that they want to finish a fight. Yeah. Submission is kind of the. the yes, number one yeah, of course, so. submission knockout. I feel great. Uh, delighted with that because, you know, uh, I thought I was going to knock him out. But I mean, didn't know I was very, very hesitant. Obviously, he did well, like, but, you know, I uh, still believe I could have on a better night. But I'll work on that, you know, that's what I love about fighting. I wasn't in there in nine months, and uh, now I can learn from that now. And uh, just be not as hesitant to strike him. But, yeah, no, I was uh, delighted with that because I submitted him, and I didn't think yeah. I would, uh, uh, if I would win, that I would knock him out. Oh, so I'm delighted. And is this, obviously, this is an amateur fight? Yeah, this is my amateur fight, my eighth amateur fight. That's five wins, three losses. First amateur fight with SBG, so um, yeah, the, just uh, the light now. And I, a lot of the stuff that I work on in the gym, pulled it off out there, so I'm absolutely delighted. I got to show myself even and show everyone else how much I've learned in SBG. It's just, it's it's been the best move in my life as far as training wise. So. And what's the plan? Are we obviously we're, we're planning on going pro. Yeah, oh, oh, geez, I'm, I'm looking to go all the way, like you know. So it's just a journey for me at the moment. I'm just uh, racking up the wins at amateur. Um, you know, just I'm gonna I'm fighting now drum Armstrong um, Girl in uh, in March for the opponents. for a tough opponent for mm -hmm. the evolution uh, title. So now I've shown that I can take people down, which I have in the past, I can smit you and now I'll, I'll I can knock you out. That's that's uh, my strong point. So uh, I'm really looking forward to that fight. Arms a tough opponent, but uh nah he's nothing he's not on me, so good stuff and we have your, your yeah, brother yeah. over here. <laughs> it's awfully cute because when you got the, when you got the win, uh, we saw like John run out because obviously uh, yeah, his yeah. teammate Richie is Richie Smolin is Richie, just yeah. he's fighting at the moment. Yeah. And uh, you just come up to the cage. Daryl was like, yeah. "That's my brother." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was like, just like in you go. Yeah, you know? no, so yeah. how how are you feeling seeing I'm your brother have a win like, like that? Because I fought like in November, like in first fight for SPG and all, like it's after moving like it's so nerve wracking I fight it was really nerve wracking but great performance by him like I knew he'd do it like 100% like he's so a obviously beast. you are the older brother I'm the older brother we have actually the same birthday no <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. everyone thinks what? that's funny not, not for, because of that two but years. Uh, exact two you years you didn't yeah. look quite similar yeah, yeah, yeah everyone right? thinks we're twins so when we moved to SPG you're all like you twins it's like nah <laughs> so who was training MMA first or uh, um, same yeah. I, I started a week before or something so, but we were always interested in but that's so another story. Two, two brothers, like, what, 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 was there MMA in the family, martial arts? Uh, well, when we were growing up, there wasn't, you know, uh, in my family, sorry. But when we were growing up, uh, we were always, you know, the WWE wrestling game. Of course. We got that, yeah, yeah. and we thought it was real. So we were like, <laughs> we were killing each other. We thought it was each other with, like, pillows. Pillows, think of steel chairs, think it was real. And then, as we got all, we are always just fighting and not for the right reasons, I suppose, but just defending ourselves. And yeah. And uh, then the the killing each other, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then uh, we just uh, I joined one day, and I, me, my mate said that uh, oh, I think you should good, like you would be good, like. And they were telling me they were training long, six months, and trying within the headlock them all, like you know. Yeah. It was tough back then, like I thought I went in the headlock them all, but I was thinking 
maybe I'd be good at this if these yeah, lads are doing yeah, a while, yeah. but sure they weren't, they were only telling me lies, but <laughs> that's how it started, and he came out, so, and then that was it, just good kept stuff. training, so. Yeah. But it's awesome to see two brothers, you know, like, obviously training together, fighting together, yeah. having each other's. It's really nerve-wracking now, I hate it. <laughs> yeah, I, I can imagine, fight, I can imagine. It's worse for, like, when he's fighting, I, I'm even more nervous, like, when I'm fighting, like, you know, it's just, yeah, it's I hate it. And like, what about you, Daryl, when's your next fight? Uh, fighting in Ryerson in two weeks, so, uh, yeah. Will and be then, there? Yeah, cool. Oh, yeah. And then Battle Zone in the second of April we'll and then also be there. Yeah. And then it's all be actually Shinobi, I don't think, but uh yeah, I'm well, give, the, give them all give all the promotions a shot. Thirteenth of yes. April and defending the Shinobi title, so yeah. <laughs> and uh, MMA Connect T V. Yeah. All the way. <laughs> That's a shot. They're the best. <laughs> Don't let um, Andrew McGann here. You're yeah, saying that there'll yeah, be more. Dear McGann. Andrew, I'm not taking your spot, okay? You just weren't here. Yeah, she is. Yeah. Definitely. So I'm here with uh, Coach John Cavanaugh. Thank you so much for taking the time. We've literally just seen Richie uh, win his fight. Amazing win. How are your feelings? Yeah, we call uh, Richie's like a uh, Khabib Smullen. He's our he's our Russian fighter and. Strong wrestling base, uh, as you've seen in that fight, very dominant. Um, uh, fair play to the other guy, Richie has a very t um, slick submission game, and the guy defended himself really well, couldn't get the finish, but I'm, I'm happy with the performance. And you've had a couple of fighters here tonight, we just saw we had Alex in for an interview as well, Alex Brophy. Yeah, Alex, um, he's, he kind of took a bit of time off, and I, I think it was actually the best thing for him. It's something I do tell young fighters, they, go, they, they hit kind of plateaus in their training, and they always ask, what should I do to change it up? And the advice is always, take a few weeks off, mm -hmm. stay away from it, M make yourself want it again. And uh, that's what he did, and he came in completely refreshed. Uh, I thought he'd gone up a level. So, if your if your training is stagnating, force yourself to do something else. Just do 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 something else, and it worked for him. Brilliant. I saw that you posted up um, on your Facebook during the week uh, all the future competitions that are coming up, and all your trainers that are all your competitors that you have fighting on all these like really cool amateur uh, Irish uh, cards. How important is it for you to come to events like this? We uh, amateur fighters. You know, uh, if I'm in the country, I'm at the show. You know, there, there's there's no favoritism. A fight is a fight to me, whether it's here or whether it's in Vegas, it's, it's the same. Um, the fights tonight are absolutely fantastic. I, I've been watching them all, and the standard is so high. I travel a lot, and I believe the Irish standard is the highest in the world. Um, a lot of those uh, amateur fights there look like uh, what I would see at a pro level in uh, the UK or the States. So Irish MMA is looking good. Good stuff. Well, on that note, we won't keep you much longer. We'll go celebrate with Richie and the rest of your team. But thank you very much for taking the time. Okay. Thank you. We're here with you, UFC legend, Irish <laughs> UFC legend, uh, nice Paddy Holohan. Definite legend. Good to see you. Yeah, thank you very much. I know you. no you're problem. like you've had a long night. You've been no, but, no cornering and you've been doing your business. Driving, everything. driving, yeah. driving. Still on the grind. <laughs> <laughs> How are things? How are you? Yeah, good. Life is good. Everything's good. Um, I have SBG Tala coming up now, so I'm pushing on that. Um, I've been recovering on like a little bit of a back injury that's been reoccurring, and um, but things are going great now. You know what I mean? I, I think this is the strongest I've ever been. Got that, like all of my first UFC fights, kind of like one after the other. I've got a little bit of time to kind of let the dust settle and uh, see what other people are seeing as well. You know what I mean? And, and live as I am now rather than thinking of the person who I was. And uh, I'm enjoying it. It's great. Good stuff. That's great to hear. So obviously, uh, SPG Tala is on the. I saw some pictures of kind of yeah. an empty shell, but it looks absolutely like it's going to be a top drawer. Um, um, Jim just like Concord. De well, definitely. Well, uh, the 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 area plan is uh, is bigger than Concord at the moment. So, um, with John on board, it's uh, it's not like I'm going bigger. It's a uh, it's our expansion. It's SPG's yeah. expansion. The gym that we have now is a uh, the cameraman will tell you. He's, uh, <laughs> what out the door we <laughs> Our cameraman turns it into He's all right. like this good. And for, um, the, the, to get a bigger space and, and fill it and to, when we first walked into Concord I, I wouldn't have believed that we were going to be filling this only two three years later and uh, the things that have happened in that gym already the things that happened in the gym before that every gym has a story and um, I look forward to creating my own stories and my own my own little protégés of people and uh, bringing my knowledge to them and, and definitely we, like, we had Alex in here we had Daryl we had Kieran, we had a lot of the SPG guys in here earlier on and mm -hmm. one thing that they're talking about is you know the support from you and John and the difference and Owen as well and Ashton the yeah. difference having you guys in their corner and saying it makes them so much more relaxed how important is you know the coaching element because obviously um, your own career is, is, is yeah. number one but coaching is obviously a huge part of that as well, well for you as a guy always says that you'll probably know Connor it says you gotta have an exit plan in this game you know what I mean and, and my exit plan has always been to 
to coach and um, and build a life that way as well. Like um, I love the UFC. I love fighting. Um, it, it's great that it's so clean that you get a fight. You you train for it. You make weight. You fight. Where sometimes on the circus it's hard for guys because the guys mm-hmm. pull out. The the show changes. The bleeding. The weather. Not all these things account when you're fighting yeah, as yeah. an amateur fighter. And I take that on board. And I always try to make it as comfortable as possible for all the guys that are coming up. Like, I remember when I was coming up, like. I didn't know a lot about anything, to be honest, uh, yeah. regarding fighting feelings, and it wasn't really cool to say, like, look, I'm a little bit scared here today, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, I mean, you get guys that stand there the first day, and you can see her in them, they're just frozen solid, and you got to remind them that it's just, it's just a fight out there, and yeah. it's it's only a sport at the end of the day as well, and at that, it's amateur. Yeah, so, absolutely. you got to kind of cheer around. Sometimes, like, uh, decisions go ways, and decisions don't go the other way, and, um, like, this is amateur at the moment, so you have boxer guys that have 400 amateur fights and things like that, like, and also, people need to take a step back, and we've been at this a long time, there's a lot of blow-ins now, mm. um, I'll say that out straight, yeah, yeah. and they, they need to kind of understand that, I wouldn't go to a bricklayer and tell him how to build a wall, one year building a wall, mm. and he's been building it for 20, you know what I mean, yeah. John's been at this a long time, and we've seen a lot of personalities and a lot of people, so uh, I try to put that into the, the guys now and tell them that, Everything's going to be all right, you know what I mean? It's yeah. SBG, everything's going to be all right. Don't be so panicked and stressed. Do you definitely, obviously, like shows like this, uh, amateur shows like Akuma, do you definitely think they're really important, you know, 100%. for kind of weeding out, like you say, the people that are maybe not committed or... Yeah, and then there's, there's there's all different types of personalities, I think, in the MMA game, and that's what people don't realise. People think, oh, he can fight, that means he can fight. If you put them lights on, you put that music on, you put a lot of people there changes people mm-hmm. you know what I mean and some people get getting up from I get an up from I know I perform better when uh, the lights are on and, and guys like Dylan do and Connor do especially and, and some people but then some people they're so good in the gym they're, they're like they would be called a hot house flower and then, and then when it comes to this they, they get stiff they, they, they overthink things and but they need to bring it back to uh, sports psychology and uh, thinking in your mind you know what I mean it's a fight yeah. it's the same situation that you're in in the gym it's only you're to adding a few things to it now. And having these shows like Akuma and then the shows like like Shinobi and um, lots of other kind of things popping up now, like, ba- like Battle Zone as well, mm-hmm. still has always been great. Like, we didn't have that ground, you yeah. know what I mean, to go on. And uh, it's brilliant to add in all the lights and all. But people have to remember, it's, it's not the UFC yet as well. Yeah. So chill the fuck out a little bit, yeah. you know what I mean? And remember that even fighting in the UFC, it's hard to make a living and hard to make a lot of money to make this your career. So... Don't be out there throwing pissy fits and things like that over fights. Yeah. Turn up, train, shake hands, and fight. And that's that's what it's about. And the fight fair, fight fight good. And as the ref tells you, and I love that. You know that that's that's what it's about. Good stuff. Some good good advice there. Good words, Paddy. Thank you so much. No I know problem. you've had a long day. And can I say congratulations on your brown belt? Oh, New Jersey brown belts is great to see. So uh, congratulations and thank you very much. Take your time. No problem. Thanks. So I'm here with a uh, newly new champion, Zibi. You'll have to help me with your surname. Hormanski. <laughs> uh, new lightweight, light heavyweight champion. Yeah. Congratulations! Thank you so Great much. Great fight. How are you feeling? There's no word to describe. I was prepare myself for, for all my life. I was trying hard, and I was I was trying to do this for a long time. There was always some guy pulled out, and they always try to avoid me. And eventually, Kyle was giving me the pleasure. He made the, my night. And I'm really thank you to him. Just you know, to, 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 he took the gloves to say, okay, I'm gonna fight him. So he was really heavy, really, really strong, really powerful. But I've been doing this for years, so I know how to survive the hardest part. And then just you know, with a little bit of energy, you know, do a own job. That's how I just win the fight. Amazing, and we've literally just literally grabbed you from the the cage. Um, to come down and do an interview, and I can tell that you're absolutely wrecked. But your your energy, you know, your whole team. It was great to see you before the fight. You know, a um, lot of positivity. Uh, seems like you have a great team behind you. Yeah, we are just we are a new team from Dublin. We just in the market for one year, but and we what grow. What is the team? Phantom MMA from Dublin, and we grow so fast that we have already a few champions. So we just you know try to spread the good positive news around and just be seeing on every events you know absolutely and what's the plan for you obviously new champion you have the belt now like what what's next for you i have no plan for the moment but i'm still you know with that's that's whole my life mm-hmm. i've been training and i'm training all the time i'm a coach in my gym so that's like addiction you never stopped mm-hmm. you know it's like the how long have you been training martial over 25 years wow but now just you know when i'm 38 i just eventually make my plan you know 
and it's harder and harder every year so I just mm-hmm. has, I have to be this one definitely because we see a lot of fighters that are coming up that have just yeah. turned pro that are like kind of at the end of their amateur yeah. career that they're like 18, 19, 20 yeah. 38 years of age pretty inspirational oh, just, uh, pretty I'm, inspirational I'm, uh, you know I didn't get in but the crutch is on the ring Sam so <laughs> That would be so fun, something funny. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, that it is, as I say, very inspirational at 38 years old to, yeah. to compete at this level. Um, what would you say to somebody that, you know, is saying, I'm too old? No, no, never, never give up, you know. I've seen that older people still training and they do very well, so there's never too late and you're never too old, you know, to do this. That would give you the best, you know, happiness, you know, calm and everything, you know. So, I would strongly recommend it to everybody, you know. It's never too late. Wonderful. Well, we'll let you go celebrate with the Leicester thank team. Thank you so much. And thank you so much. I really appreciate pleasure. it. Thank, thank you. you very much. Uh, I'm here with James McGurleen. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Great Thanks fight. Me. Yeah. I think it might have been fight of the night. A few like, rumblings that there. Everyone was like very, super impressed. How are yeah. you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm sore, but I want to get back at it next week again. Back training. So I'll say I can't wait to get, get on again. It's a year off. So back at it again. So. How come a year off? Were you injured or... I wasn't injured. Look, I lost three in a row and I said, right, there's no more losses and put my head down. Mm-hmm. I changed over to David Patterson. David Patterson opened my arms for me to change into his gym and I adapted it well and I'm still improving. I'm going to learn and learn and I'm going to keep on fighting. And what's the gym that you're training at now? At David, David Patterson, the EFR. So that's the golf father, David. So do you think that taking the, the year out kind of, was it your mental game that changed or training stepped up a notch what was it's, it that uh it's just everything i just want to change i was too i was losing a lot three fights been being held down being controlled and i, was, I wasn't having again mm-hmm. so that's why I've, I've changed with david david's worked with me and he's worked and he's constantly putting and work with me every sunday morning hill sprints 10 o'clock he's coming beside us he don't, doesn't have to do it but he's there pushing us always helping mm-hmm. so no, no doubt he's always helping us the whole day so you think that's made the difference having oh, a coach fitness that? see it one for david patterson for doing them hill sprints and pushing me where well, i haven't lasted two rounds you're gonna have like a whole I could have done class three. of kids. Guys are gonna be like, I'm going off sprinting in the could, morning. Could have like. done three, right, three more rounds, but that there for the fitness I have behind me because David Patterson, the friends, Callum, jumps, everything. So you think you're like your 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 fitness is just up fitness, there? Fitness, fitness up. I wouldn't for fitness. I wouldn't be able to. I wouldn't go down the ring and wasn't fit. So you're going to leg it for a burger. And I'm trying, to, I'm trying to hurry the interview because no, the friends no, no. are at the door. And they're like, the no, boss is coming. Don't, don't like, worry, we have don't to worry. Go. They're not leaving with me. <laughs> make them wait. Make, 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 make them wait. Them wait. So, so what's next for you for this? Like, obviously, you're taking the year out now. You've just come off the back of a win. What's next? That's a year. That's what I'm going to have. I'll, I'll fight. I'll fight whenever. I'll fight next week. I'll bomb with them up my top. So <laughs> anything. I'll go you never anyway. know. There's always, always, always bullets in. in uh, That's in me. I'm staying ready this year. There's no bullets this thing. No injuries. I'm going to stay injury free as so much as I can. Going to stay ready. If the show comes up next week, I'll fight it. Good stuff. And any, any apart from Bama next weekend, anything else on the horizon? Any other fights? Any other fighters? Anything. That's Akuma's the best show I fought on. Mm-hmm. Stephen Moore looks after every fighter. He's food for them, really. He's strength ready for them, and I love fighting for Akuma. Mm. It's the best I show I said that to him tonight because we were talking. Obviously, he's been so good with us as well, you know, kitting us out in this room, yeah. and he, you know, he's like, anything you need. And I said, I can't get over the show. I didn't. It's my first Akuma show, and yeah. I didn't actually realize how well put together. And he was like, well, you know, I'm a fighter, and it, I know what they're looking for. And, and every fighter that's come in here, all they've said is, you know, how great they were treated. And in 18 fights. Yeah. What she was in 18 fights for Dan Pollock's. Bama has 19 fights. Well, obviously, it's in the three arena, and that's, yeah, that's, yeah, yes, yeah. That's, that's the uh, up and coming show, Akima. Yeah, yeah. He absolutely. sold it out three weeks ago. No sell, nobody can get tickets. Everybody's still looking tickets today off me, and I couldn't do it. Yeah. And he's going to go for a bigger place, and he will get it sell it again. Absolutely. It's, it's the, everybody wants to fight for. Him. And what's it like walking out and seeing a crowd like that? Because we got here at four o'clock today, and the place was like it was twelve o'clock at night. You know, it was oh, rammed. It's, it's glad. It's, I was walking in there, and I felt like it's going to train. Yeah. It's just that whole atmosphere got me going. I've no, I've Did you no, have a big, big crowd? Yes, yeah, a big no, crowd of us. Yeah, I'm just waiting for you to bring in a Jägermeister. <laughs> you want now if you want to. <laughs> but um, no, I couldn't have done them. I yeah. say that atmosphere gets me going. That's mm-hmm. why I'm doing it for the sport of it, fun of it. It's really important for you to have your yeah. friends oh, around well. me that are I wasn't, I wasn't enjoying it, I wouldn't be doing it. So I went, but. Perfect. I say all fun and games. So it is. Well, we'll let you go. Bye. Enjoy the rest of your night. Let Congratulations me. again. Can you be thank you for everybody? You can, you can. Go on, give uh, your shout outs. We haven't uh, done any shout outs, but get your thank you. I'd like to thank David Patterson for taking me in under the AFR fight team. Ronan McKay always helped me. Everybody, Ronan McKay, Paul Hughes, he, he unlucky in the night, but he will be back stronger again. Everybody that was in the AFR helped me through it. Thanks, Stephen Moore. Thanks to my sponsor, Mark Shields, 
for strength and conditioning with me. Fergal Dolphin had a performance nutrition for my supplements. Uh, Gary Higgins from a fake year. I'm, I think that's it. Is that everyone? I think I've missed one. I can't mean them, but I'll thank them as well. We'll, we'll put them on Facebook. Uh, put them on Facebook. Yeah, we'll thank them. But, but thank you all of, of his sponsors. Thank you. Yeah, thanks all the sponsors. Yeah. <laughs> sure. But well, listen, enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you, thank for you so me. much. Right. No, not at all a pleasure. And uh, best luck with thank your you. uh, upcoming pro. You're gone and all. <laughs> I win. Thank you. <laughs>